So, we've looked into the lore behind the Chimera, the backstory and origins, as well as the multiple strains seen in the first Resistance game. So let's look into the new variants introduced in Resistance 2. As always, I'm your host Abs, and here are the Chimeran strains in Resistance 2 lore. After the carrier strains were compromised and exterminated, lessening the Chimera's need of conversion centers, the Chimera replaced the Crawler strain with a more practical solution in the form of the infection vectors known as the spinners. Spinners were also released from the missile bioweapons known as the spires and would capture humans and weave them into cocoons. Then, the hosts are converted into whatever strain is required or needed for the Chimeran war effort. How the spinners actually work remains a mystery as they are not deployed in overwhelming numbers like the crawlers. So you wonder how such small creatures could overpower humans, which is part of the mystery behind their unstoppable force. However, a strain of Chimera, known as the Mother Spinner, appears to be some sort of queen to these Chimeran strains. This strain would not have been created from human hosts, but may have just been an evolution of a spinner, similar to how the Leapers were crawlers who failed to find a suitable host and then gorged themselves in human or animal corpses, transforming into Leapers. There has only been one appearance of this enormous Chimeran strain, being able to bite and claw at any victims, but the Mother Spinner also had the ability to summon swarms of Leapers to attack the player, which is a trait also shared by the Widowmakers. So it could be the case that the Mother Spinners are also brought in from an unknown source, just like the Widowmakers. Humans that are infected and transformed by the Spinner strain turn into what we know as the Grim. After human hosts are captured by spinners, they are placed into cocoons, and then the cocoon begins to rebuild the human host into a grim. Frail creatures that move swiftly and tend to swarm in groups to overwhelm their victims. They don't have any cooling apparatus like the hybrids, and are less sophisticated, so they are unable to use weapons. But that can make them even more unpredictable, as they are seen in large numbers of up to 20 grim or more, and they come at you with speed, using melee attacks. Of course, the Grim are seen in very large numbers, due to the Chimera strategy of deploying Spire missiles carrying spinners into densely populated areas of humans, such as major cities, converting the humans in the surrounding area into Grim. Once a human is fully converted into a Grim, their immune system collapses, and so, this allows toxic bacteria to enter and contaminate the Grim's blood which in turn forms an explosive yellowish pus. This malforms the Grim during an unknown stage in its life cycle, turning it into what we know as the leech. The leeches are highly toxic with their explosive blood and therefore their only purpose is to kill their prey by performing a suicide run at their victims and self-exploding on contact. They are extremely quick just like the standard Grim and therefore are even more devastating at close proximity. A physically impressive and superior strain of Chimera, however, are the Ravagers. You could say they are the middle ground between a standard hybrid and a Titan. They are seen as the strongest, regular Chimeran infantry on the front lines, engineered to withstand and dish out heavy damage. They are an elite fighting unit, serving as a field commander, equipped with heavy armour, and the Ravagers use a devastating brute minigun along with a plasma gun with a portable shield. They are also brutal melee fighters who can charge at you with speed. The game doesn't state how tall these beasts are, but I'd assume at least 8 feet tall at a minimum. A very interesting and one of my favourite Chimeran strains is the Chameleon. As their name suggests, the Chameleon specialise in active camouflage and ambushing their victims, with multiple razor sharp blades on its fingertips being sharp enough to slice and dice a human in half. They appear to be equipped with a special cloaking device, along with their cooling units that allows them to camouflage in their environment. The chameleons do seem to have been inspired by the iconic Predator, especially the OG Predator movie, where the Predator appears in the woods to kill its prey, as well as being similar in some ways to the Elites in Halo, as the Elites can also be somewhat invisible and are equipped with their signature energy sword to impale and kill their enemies. 
Another interesting strain of Chimera that appears in Resistance 2 is the Marauder, an enormous Chimera that towers over even the Titan, and distinctly resembles a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This gargantuan creature has no arms, but walks on only two legs. It has a flamethrower-like weapon installed in it to channel its flammable saliva for use in combat. The Marauder is also equipped with a special cooling unit that allows the creature to use the flamethrower-like device and not overheat easily. Now the origin of this Chimeran strain is unknown, however due to their dinosaur-like traits, it could be said that the Marauder strain was produced during the Chimera's initial colonisation of Earth millions of years prior, perhaps infecting a native pteropod with the Chimeran virus, which would make sense given their genetic material and the prehistoric creatures that would have inhabited Earth during that time period. The main antagonist of Resistance 2 is Daedalus, a giant Chimeran entity that was formerly a human by the name of Jordan Shepard. When the Special Research Projects Administration, or simply known as SERPA, realised that normal humans were not physically sufficient to combat the Chimera, as evidenced by Europe's fall to the Chimera, the SERPA Tactical Ops proposed the creation of enhanced super soldiers that were on par with the Chimera. This became known as Project Abraham, a secret programme to cull volunteers from the military and subject them to medical experimentation. Jordan Shepard was one of these subjects, where Dr Malikov had infused DNA from pure Chimeran strains into him, but unfortunately Shepard had mutated into Daedalus. Daedalus had taken sole command of the Chimera, and eliminated the command role of the Angel strains, and replacing them with a more efficient leadership system. The new system included Primarchs and Overseers. A Primarch would have control of around 40 lesser Chimeran strains, and an Overseer would have command of around 12 Primarchs, leading to a more robust and efficient command system for the Chimera. The change in military tactics caused great harm and concern for Serpa, all thanks to their own creation, in the form of Daedalus. An aquatic strain of Chimera are the Furies, designed to live and attack in water, being present in almost every body of water, deeper than a puddle. As soon as a human would enter the water, the Fury would swim towards them in a swift manner and attack, turning bodies of water into instant death traps by circling their prey and biting and mauling them to death. However, a much larger aquatic strain of the Chimera is the mighty Kraken, consuming prey with its mouth, but also having extended tentacles, each of them tipped with mechanical drills that split into claws, causing huge damage. It appears that the Kraken isn't a singular strain, but there are multiple. And of course, the Kraken comes from the mythical giant squid-like creature in Norse mythology, so it's a commonly inspired enemy type. The single largest creature to have ever walked the Earth, however, is the Leviathan, a 300 foot tall chimera that is assumed to have been created by thousands of bodies. A bipedal, enormous creature that has carnivorous teeth and armoured skin. It is a walking destruction, being able to repel all types of weaponry, apart from explosives. And then we have the swarm. So, since the crawler's previous role was made redundant due to the more effective spinner strain, the Chimera reutilised the crawlers into a more deadly, evolved entity. A swarm of evolved crawlers that are highly resilient to human firearms due to the ability of digesting metals that become infused into its exoskeleton. Their bodies are composed of 80% titanium silver alloy, but although they may be able to repel firearms due to their metallic exoskeleton, the swarm is electrically conductive and therefore very vulnerable to electrical weaponry. So that, my friends, are the Chimeran strains in Resistance 2 lore. Drop a like if you enjoyed this lore video, subscribe for more similar content like this, and please do let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. I'm your host Abs, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.